So you're a small business owner and you're looking for a cheap workhorse which will carry your wares during the day and after work it will take you and your family shopping and it's got to be the cheapest on the market. Say hello to Dacia Docker. If at first glance the Docker looks a bit like a Renault Kangoo, it's probably because the Logan Van successor is indeed based on the Renault Van. On the other hand, compare the Docker to Citroën Berlingo, Fiat Doblo, Mercedes Citan, Opel Combo, Peugeot Partner or Volkswagen Caddy and you'll see they all look rather similar. Let's face it, they are made for carrying goods and people, not for showing off innovative design. Before we go any further, a few words about the price. The cheapest Docker starts at just 9,000 euros, a Renault Kangoo starts at 16,650 euros, Fiat Doblo at over 17,000 euros and Opel Combo will set you back almost 18,000. And even in the cheapest spec, the Docker is a five-seater. The thing is, if you want the rear seats to fold, if you want the second sliding door, perhaps a radio and air conditioning, you'll easily go from base to top spec laureate model like this one, which starts at 11,500 euros with a 1.6 petrol engine with LPG. Make it a 90 horsepower diesel like this test example and you're looking at 14,500 grand. That's still cheap, but air conditioning and a 7-inch touch media system costs 1100 euros, parking sensors cost 200 euros, a spare wheel costs 60 euros, metallic paint that's 470 euros, a roof rack costs 105 euros, and all this brings us closer to 16 and a half grand. That's still cheap, but why? Never mind bits and pieces from old Renaults, recycling is good for cost saving. However, you don't have to look deep to see other cost-cutting initiatives. The finish is cheap, sound insulation is poor and everything is, well, it's simple at best. In the back, three adults will sit relatively comfortably, relatively, because if the driver is tall, the legroom is becoming rather short. So if you're picking workers for your team, pick the short ones. The boot is 800 liters and you can expand it to 3000 with the rear seats folded. The docker can carry up to 770 kilograms and you can also fit a Euro pallet. You can unlock the door wings to open them 180 degrees, which makes loading easier. But if one of your workers or a child will try to unfold these seats, watch the fingers. In the front, in this sea of grey, there are handy storage spaces on top of the dashboard and under the ceiling. It's good there are two 12 volt sockets, these days you need as many power outlets as possible. As far as the rest goes, including the infotainment system, we've seen it all in other Dacia models. You'll find the 90 horsepower 1.5 DCI diesel not just under the bonnets of Nissan's, Renault's and Dacia's, but also under the bonnet of a Mercedes. The Citan is a Kangoo with a star on the grill after all. The manufacturer promises combined fuel consumption of 4.5 liters per 100 kilometers. I managed to uh, average around 5 liters and that's with the car empty. Steering in the Docker is surprisingly precise and pleasantly old school. This is a hydraulic system, not an electric one. I like that. Not that it makes any difference. I mean, the Docker is not a car for racing. It's for carrying people and stuff around. Sound insulation is poor, unfortunately. I keep hearing unidentified noises coming from all over the vehicle. I'm also not satisfied with the seat. It lacks lumbar support adjustment and in the long run my back says no. A couple of weeks ago I drove a Peugeot Partner for around a thousand kilometers. It may have been much more bare inside as far as equipment is concerned, but it was also much more comfortable. Dacia Docker is far from perfect, but a comparably specced Renault Kangoo will cost you at least some five grand more something that cannot be overlooked when you have to keep business running costs down. 
If you want a cheap card, there's a lot you can sacrifice to make the Docker even cheaper. If you're looking for a more desirable badge, more comfort and more modern equipment, you better look elsewhere, also on my channel. Rate, comment and share my videos. New reviews every Friday. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Google+. You'll find all the links in the description below. And now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.